Hey guys, Anthony here. We're going to do a quick showing of this Yezu ADMS 2900 software management system for the Yezu FT 2900R radio. Uh, this is the software loaded in my, my computer. I went in this morning and I'm in right now updating some channels that I want in here. And there you see, you know, there's over 40, almost 50 channels in there, different names I called them, all the offsets, and the software basically runs you through this. But now what I want to do is I want to take this information here and get it to uh, the radio, the Yezu radio. So with this cable that comes with the software, it plugs into the mic jack here. And I have my MFJ power system up and running here. And then there's a like a USB attachment that'll go to the computer. So the first thing I had to do when I first hooked this up, I had to send any files from the radio to the software, which I did because I had about five channels manually programmed in. And then once I did this, that setup, now I'm able to send the data. I want to send the data from the software now to the radio. So there it is, sending the file to the radio. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so we're going to follow this step right here. Connect the USB cable to the computer. So let's do that. Okay. It says it's ready and it's connected. We did complete the get data from the radio so we could skip that step. Select communications and then send data to the radio from the software. So up here on the software, we're going to go to the communications right here. Send data to the radio. We're going to choose that. And now you come. it comes up with a menu. We inserted the cable into the mic jack. That's already there. Press and hold the AN low key while turning on the radio. So let's go over to the radio. And we're going to press and hold the AN low key, which is here, and the power button to the radio. And then your radio is going to light up and say clone. And it does that in number three here. Press the MWDMR key to start wait mode on the radio. The MWDMR key is right here. I'm going to press that. And the radio should say wait, which it does. Okay. Next step, we're going to, we should click on the OK button here on the computer. And it should start sending the data from the software to the radio and it tells you when it's done and then that'll update all the programs all the channels that I put in the computer the software system here so an easy way to transfer the data that you type in there it is and it's done so now it's back to my frequencies on the radio and there they are as I scroll through them and that's how it's done guys thanks for watching